everybody, it's Lisa from Shabby Road Studio. Welcome back to my channel. Today is an upcycling video and we are going to do something new. I could do dusters every day, every time, but I know it's nice to have a break. So between now and doing another duster, I thought we would try um, a shirt that I've, I've done before, but just not on video. I have made one of these quite a while back. And I would really like to try to get back into making a few because they're super fun and super creative. So what I'm gonna do is take two shirts, two men's shirts, um, you just choose a color that's coordinating. And these two are like a reddish pink. Um, so I'm gonna use those. And then there's gonna be other fabrics involved. Um, I got this, well, first of all, I have this tan bed sheet. We're gonna be using some of that. And then I have this really pretty um, cotton with a tan background with little pink um, dragonfly. So I thought that would really kind of be fun. And then I have this vintage piece of fabric. I believe I used a piece of this on another um, piece I did. But anyway, I feel like it's close enough and it's kind of fun might even use some of the gray. So um, yeah, that's, I'll, I'll probably maybe use different fabric too. I just didn't get that out yet. So what happens with these? I like to cut, they're, they're, they're an oversized tunic. Um, most people call them a patchwork shirt or patchwork tunic. I like to call them a puzzle shirt because you're basically putting puzzle pieces together. Um, I'm gonna take the this one is gonna be the main the main shirt this one's bigger and I'm going to cut it um, I don't know maybe like about to the middle of this pocket so maybe three inches four inches across on either side and we're gonna cut this right down the middle that's gonna cut off each section that has arm armholes or you know the sleeves and then we're going to probably use these sleeves from this shirt or maybe we'll get crazy and use one and another so that's probably what I'll do because you know me I like to be different and uh, so I'll maybe using one of one from this shirt and one from this shirt and then we're gonna fill in two strips on either side with these extra fabrics coordinate fabrics the coordinating of the fabrics is the fun part because it just makes the tunic, the end result, unique and fun, one of a kind. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let me take this one, put that out of the way. Take this one off the hanger. This one was a, a lot more wrinkled when I started, when I picked it out. Um, and I did try to iron it a little bit. I did get a couple of comments on a couple of my videos that um, it was people's opinion that I should iron my clothing before I attempted to sew with it. So, um, you know, I, I realize now that my channel is growing and I have more views and more subscribers that I'm gonna get comments that may be mm, sometimes not so nice. Um, in fact, you know, a comment was, I can't believe you never showed the, the, full, the, full, um, the full piece after you were finished. Seriously, she said. <laughs> and I guess, you know, comments like that really don't make sense to me because if you watch the full video I had full length shots of the of the duster plus I had it on in a video full length I would never just start a project and then not show you the finished full full length picture of it so um, I just I'm gonna just be honest I'm, I'm gonna delete those kind of comments um, this is my channel. I'm doing this two, for two reasons. For fun, because I love doing what I do. And for two, I'm do, it's, it's an income for me. So
So because it is my channel, I'm going to, sometimes I'm going to sew with a shirt that's wrinkled if I choose to. Or, you know, I may not take buttons off when someone thinks I should or this type of, you know, back and forth type thing. Um, I guess, you know, I try to leave most comments up because I don't like to censor people and I do always answer people and I always try to do it kindly. But I'm just saying that, you know, if you're going to put something that's not very nice, I will delete it and then you won't be able to comment on the channel anymore. You can watch. Uh, I have no problem with that, but I, you won't be able to comment after that. So that's just me on my soapbox today. Um, I'm just, I guess I'm tired. I'm tired of the world the way it is right now. And I'm tired of people just always trying to come on somebody's channel and trying to steal their joy. And this is my joy and I'm not going to let you steal it. So let's move on. All right. So I am hoping to be able to cut this semi straight and I, and that's what I mean. Like I'm not perfect. I'm not going to do perfect projects. So if you're here for perfection, you're on the wrong channel. I do try to do my best and I do what makes me happy because yeah, that's, that's part of the, the fun of this. So I feel like if I line it up, like I'm lining it up with this side of the, the, the button area, that would be pretty straight. It's leaving. Yeah. I think that's leaving just about enough. I'm just going to take my rotary blade and hope that it works. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't cut very well. And I still haven't put a sharper blade in there, so my own fault. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to... Oh, I get this. I'm trying to get that so that I can come over here. And I'll finish cutting the bottom when I'm done with the top. I'm trying to keep the top straight. Alright, let's see. How much did we actually take from here to here? A little bit less than seven. So, let me get it from up here. Right at the top of the collar to there is about three. So, three inches is right about there. I have raised up my phone higher. Oh, come on. In hopes that you can see more of the area that I'm working. I don't like it when I lean in like this. You can see the top of my hair. It's, it just it bugs me. So um, I'm just going to wear a hat. Whatever. Okay, so I did cut off more over here than I did here because there's not as much. Okay. We are not going to worry about that right now. Let's slide this up. And like I said in the beginning, I haven't done one of these for a while, so we're just kind of winging it together today. Um, I mean, my hope is that this shirt turns out cool. But I'm not going to cry if it doesn't. Okay. Yep. And that's okay. It's a little bit wider over here than it is over here. Yeah. Okay. 
So, which sleeve? We want to... I think we'll use this sleeve. So we're gonna basically have this. Let me get those pieces off. There we go. We're gonna basically have this piece. This is gonna be the center of our shirt. And then we're going to have this sleeve reattached back over here. So this part right here is gonna be all the fun um, patchworky type fabrics. That's going to be over here. And the same on this side. Okay. So we're going to measure the length of this area to tell us how much patchwork fabric we need sewn together to fit back on this. And we're going to do both front and back. So this is about 30 inches. So we're gonna need a strip that's 60 inches. Does that make sense? So you're gonna double it because it's gonna go up the front and down the back. And then this shirt sleeve section is going to be sewn right on to this. So let's pretend, I mean, maybe I'm just trying to make it too simplified for you. Maybe you already get what I'm trying to say. But just so people are clear on what we're making, Let's pretend this is our fabric strip that we add on. We're gonna make 60 inches of this and we're gonna sew it back together with this piece and this piece. And it's just gonna become this oversized, kind of really comfy tunic, but we're not gonna use all the same. I mean, you could, you, you really could if you wanted to, and some people do. I'm not going to, but you could actually just use a 60 inch piece of this and just sew it back on. This would be pretty to use because these, these dragonflies are very similar color. So it's very, very nice. So I'm going to pick out some fabrics and cut some strips and I'll be back. Okay. Um, I just took a bunch of pieces of those fabrics that uh, we looked at. I sewed. A bunch of them together until I got the length that I need for here. Um, I can show you. So I'm using actually parts of that striped shirt as well. So all of this gets used one way or another. Um, so I sewed these in kind of, you know, patchwork. Just kind of patch them together. There's a double. And then what I'm going to do is just open up the shirt like this. And open this up and sew them together. So I'm going to go over to the machine. I'm going to just start at start at one end. I'm going to clip these together. You can open these seams up if you want to clamp those together just take it over to the machine and sew that whole thing on if there's excess which i think there will be we'll just we'll just cut it off just trim it off so i think we're i think that'll be cute i'll be back when i'm done sewing it on okay so I have sewn on the strip of patches on this side and on this side, sewed the arm part back. It has made a big oversized shirt, which is really fun when you put it on. Um, I put it on, I like the way it looks. I, the, the only thing I'm not happy with right now though is the bottom. So we've got different like different edges going on and different lengths. So what I think, because it's, you know, it's a men's shirt to begin with, so you're gonna have that scalloped edge. I think 
there's got to be gonna, probably going to have to chop it off to make it even all the way across. And that's going to shorten it a little bit, which I don't, I'm not happy with that. So I'm thinking, I don't know if I have enough of this. I probably do. I'm thinking about possibly cutting this straight across, evening that out, and then adding, just adding a very, a very lightly ruffled. Add in that length again on the bottom. So I'm going to lay this as flat as I can. Well, I mean, if I, if I, line up these two scalloped edges here. I think I should be able to it's my big ruler. I think I should be able to go pretty much right across there. And then I'll cut the width or length, I should say, of this ruffle that I need to make this feel like it's long enough again. And then we'll sew that on the bottom. Just a few pleats, not a very fluffy ruffle. Really, that's all I want is to add back the length. So I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna turn my shirt around. It is really fun. Um, you don't have to have as many patches as I do. You can do like this area, you could do that all one. And, you know, you don't have to have as many different colors or fabrics as I do here. It's whatever, it's whatever you want. You know what, this is, this is your project and it's whatever you want to make it your own. Um, okay, so, thinking I'm going to start over here. So that looks fairly straight actually for me <laughs> and you know we're going to keep this because it's cute um, bits that could be added to some other project so don't throw anything like that away and now what I need to do is I need to measure around this the bottom to see how much of a ruffle I'm going to need. So, 16, 16, 32. And I'm going to cut this and we're going to make a ruffle on the bottom and I will be back when I am done. Okay, you guys, I uh, cut the ruffle out of this fabric. This is what's left of it. Um, I sewed two piece, two long pieces together so that I would have enough. I didn't even measure it out, um, but I sewed it on here with a zigzag stitch and it is so adorable. It is um, uh, maybe an eight inch ruffle, seven, about a seven inch ruffle. And it's so cute around the bottom of this. It just, it actually makes it look perfect. You know, it ended up working out well. So, um, I will, this is all there is to it. This is all there is to this. You can add other things if you want. You could, you know, you could add a pocket or something on the front. I don't plan to these normally. I don't. I don't usually do that. Um, if you're wondering, like I'll I'll put this on and do a little video, like I did the other couple of the ones I I made. Um, this of course does lengthen the sleeve. So the way this is meant to be worn is to wear the cuff on the tightest. So not on this one, but wear it on the tightest button. And so it's tight to your wrist and then the rest just kind of puffs up 
along your arm. It's not a ton extra, but it's that's the way it's meant to be worn. So um, you just you're gonna have puffy sleeves. It's just an oversized, really kind of a baggy, oversized tunic. Very comfy, very cute. Um, the back pretty much looks just like the front. You know, it's just loose threads. Um, just a lot of patchwork, coordinating colors. I think it look, they all the colors look good together. And so I'm going to try this on, probably do a little video, put it on the mannequin, get a few pictures and things for you on the mannequin. So this is probably the last time I will speak to you. So don't, don't stop watching the video here if you wanna see this all in one shot, okay? I don't want anybody feeling like they didn't get to see the final product. So after this, I'm gonna say my goodbye, but I'm going to include pictures and video after this clip. So um, thanks again for watching. If you like this, we can make more. Um, I just thought we'd take a break from dusters uh, for a couple, uh, projects. I don't know. I like doing all of it, so it doesn't really matter to me. It's what you guys want to watch. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.